How's it going folks? Welcome back to the channel. And today's the day that we actually use this monstrosity and uh, see what we can make. So at the moment, this is uh, the night before, I'm modifying the cog, uh, sanding out the teeth on both the big cog and the little cog, trying to get them to mesh as much as possible. Now, it was only when I was doing this that I really noticed the inconsistencies in the drilling, uh, which meant the cog was binding up and doing all crazy things. But anyway, we're going to assume that it's going to work, sort of. And uh, what I'm doing now is creating the track that the center pin on the small cog is going to follow around. So I'm just using my parting tool, and I want a 10 millimeter track because I'm going to use an M10 bolt. So after some deliberation I actually made it about 11 and a half mil wide just to give it a little bit of wiggle room just to give it half a chance. So you can see that it sort of works. Yeah, this is when I decided to make the track just a little bit bigger. Is it perfect? No. Will it work? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. In goes the pin. Okay folks, the time is finally here. We've got the router attached to the cog with just maybe 6mm sticking out the bottom. It's bolted in, flush mounted. That locates here. And the router bit is inside that track as well as this centre pin. I've got it fixed down as hard as I can. It's just to stop that spinning because I know this is going to bind up and I'm going to have to force it. We've got one shot at this to get it as right as we can. And I'm more than a little nervous, I'll be honest with you. But what's the worst that could possibly happen? We're going to make some holes anyway. We're going to make a track. So let's get on with it. So the worst thing that could possibly happen is what did happen, which is uh, we kept binding up on the cogs and uh, kept skipping teeth, which meant I had to stop the router find where the position was and then uh, continue routing and what, ha what kept happening was I kept getting uh, shavings going into the center track which stopped the, um, the pin, locating pin from actually moving so I had to keep taking the router out again cleaning everything out putting it back together and it was making a right old mess But in for a penny, in for a pound. So we're just going to carry on. <laughs> just going to carry on and uh, see what comes of it. Can't stop now, can we? After, a, what is it, a week's worth of work? Something like that. We're just going to make a bloody horrible mess that we're then going to have to fix in some way.
I mean, in theory, it's working. In theory. It's making the track that I showed you on the picture. It's not making it very well, but it is making the design that we wanted it to make. Sort of. You can't hear it in the soundtrack, but I was laughing on the inside when this was happening. I try not to take life too seriously. Otherwise you'd cry, wouldn't you, when stuff like this happened? But there you go. But halfway through, I managed to mark the positions of uh, both cogs so I could put them back on in exactly the same place. Probably should have done that from the first time it bound up, really, shouldn't I? Okay, that is all the routing done, and it looks like we were about one tooth out by the time we finished. So, nothing to do now apart from fix that god-awful mess that we've made. And the process was, first of all I cleaned it all out, all the router shavings, which took a long time. And then it was a case of, as m much as possible, trying to chip away the bits that were not in the right place. Um, a lot of sanding. But you can see the basic principle has sort of worked. We've got a seven-pointed oval petaled star shape. So needless to say I was at this next stage for quite a long time, most of the afternoon, uh, sanding, smoothing, gluing, cutting little tiny bits of wood and adding them into the, the horrible mess that it had made, chipping bits out, refining the shape. And I don't think I'm done with the hand sanding yet. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's my dad on a tractor directly behind me gone to drill his pheasant covers today on the 4000 series Ford so this was a very slow process but slowly but surely we made things smooth or smoother because it's only the top, the top line of this flower design that you're actually going to see because the inside is going to be filled with epoxy. So I wasn't too bothered about the bottom of the track so much as the, the outer line.
Now some of you at this point might be thinking, why didn't you just draw the design on and route it out by hand wheel? And the answer to that is, I am the world's worst router user. And I think I would have made even more of a mess trying to do that than I have doing this. So here, it's time to fill in those horrible bits where it skipped teeth and moved. So I've got some bits of sycamore for, from some offcuts, sanded them to size and shape, super glued them in, and sanded them flush. Perfect look. It's like nothing happened there. Well, it's something. Beautiful job, Will. <laughs> Another design design modification there. That one was really out of shape, so I just had to cut where I should have gone. Cut it out, and then five little blocks of sycamore went in. I'm reasonably confident that when this is all polished up, you won't even see those joins. Ever the optimist. But it's starting to look not too shabby. Only took three hours of messing about. Is it perfect? No. It's not perfect, Will. Is anything you do perfect? No, it's not. Are we going to worry about it? No. All right, so that's uh, the end. The end result of today's messing about, and it's uh, it's all right, isn't it? Not too bad. And tomorrow we're going to be working on it some more because I can't just leave it like that because that'd be ridiculous. So we're going to make it spectacular tomorrow. Don't worry too much about what it looks like now because I've got big plans for this, and uh, it is going to look awesome when it's finished. But this is this is probably the worst it's going to look all project. So I hope you've enjoyed the video watching me mess things up and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care people.